Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an introduction for a new project, which is the hashtag Graveyard Project Pan 2021 that was set up by Emily McKinnis. And I will link her channel in the cards and down below. I'm sure every one of you know who she is by now. She creates such amazing projects. She created the deck of panning as well, which I really, really want to do, but I'm just so overwhelmed with the amount of products I'm panning at the moment but I didn't want to miss it this year. I wanted to do this project, so I'm actually late in uploading it because um, I was just like, I have to do it, but it runs until Halloween from April 30th. And I think the updates are every two months. So the 30th of June, I think is the next one. So I thought, you know, that's not too bad to have two months to show some sort of progress and it's rolling style and I believe it's anywhere between five and ten products. There is a playlist, there is a Google Docs, I will have both linked down below but I'm going to start off by picking five products, they are rolling and if you're interested in seeing what I picked and my goals then just keep watching. Okay guys just to let you know I'm getting my hair done on, on the 21st of May. I haven't got it done in a long long ass time. This is my natural colour. I think the last time I saw my natural hair colour fully was when I was like 12 or 13 and as much as I enjoy it I really miss having blonde in my hair so I'm gonna get it in. It's in a different hairdresser than I've ever been to before so fingers crossed it goes okay. So I forgot to mention in my introduction that there are two categories for this project. There's collecting cobwebs which are products that are either close to expiry or just you haven't really used in a while and then there's the resurrection products which are products that were previously in project pans that you either you know didn't hit a goal on or you just want to bring back and make a new goal. That's what seems to be the trend. So the first product I picked and this is the deciding factor for me starting this project. Sorry, if the camera's moving, it's Mrs. The Fluff. Mrs. The Fluff, will you please stop interfering? Um, so the reason that I just had to start this project was over this product. It's similar reason for why my side of the partners in cream I wanted to start that project was for, and it's pigments. I never use my pigments, but I refuse to get rid of them. I got rid of loads of them. I used up a few of them and then I just stopped. I'm panning way too many eyeshadows, just too many that I'm comfortable with. I need to learn from this mistake, okay? Over five years panning, I never learned, but we are going to pull in my pigments. I think, I believe I have 17 pigments, okay? We have six months, and I want to try and use them five times each. Keep to color, who knows, just get use out of them. And I'm going to get the ball rolling with this first pigment. It's a MAC, it's in a sample pot. A friend of mine used to work in a MAC and she so kindly put it in a little pot for me. So this is in the shade Melon. And I'm going to start, look, it is so full. I actually, you know, I'm just gonna put a close up, but it's so full. I'll do a little swatcheroo, but I wanna use it five times and then just keep on going. And if I can use a few five times and come back and tell you how many out of the 17, ignore this. This here, this is it here. God, it looks so stunning. But I never use them because I'm panning so many eyeshadows. So if I could use any of them five times, I have six months, the next time I see you on this update will be in two months time. I thought, you know, this would be a good way to give me a bit of a push. So I'm gonna leave this out front and center, front and center. The next product is one, so that one is for collecting cobwebs. This next one is a resurrection product. And I had this in a project pan. I would have thought resurrection products would have been hard for me because I generally, before recently, other than usage goals, I always had things in to finish. This was in my 20 favorites in 2020 to finish. It is a Tarte Tartist lip paint in Pillow Talk. I have another one of these. Hi. But I do. I don't know if I can finish this anytime soon, guys. It's a liquid lipstick. It is very, 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 very light. So it's not for everyone, okay? I actually have it on me today, but I have it with a lip gloss over top. Here it is, here, there it is, there. It just, I really love this, okay? It's not even the form, it's just the color. They're so flattering. I just really enjoy this shade. It's on my lips, it's such a light shade. I do pair it with a darker lip liner on the outside or a darker lipstick. There is a bit of windowing in here, there. I don't know if you can see it, but I used this all year last year in 2020 and I didn't finish it. And it barely went down in weight. Actually, I will weigh it after this video so that we have weights going forward. And I want to, whoops, I want to work on it and see how far I can get with it in six months. So I'm going to pull that out 
I know that's out too. This next product is also a resurrection product and it was in a project pan when I was on Instagram and not on YouTube. That'll tell you how old this is. This is the 17 cream bronzer. I'm already working on a cream bronzer so I was scared to put this in. But here is the big juicy Lucy Panuel. Smells perfect. 17 is discontinued. I got it in boots. I purchased this. This is my second or third one of these. Because I had this, I think it was like seven euros. I never bought the Soleil Tan de Chanel because I didn't see the point. It is a warm tone bronzer. As I said, it's discontinued. Such an easy one to blend. It was such an easy one to use. There it is there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's it. I want to see how I can get, if I could finish it, it'd be great. And you probably think, of course you can finish that, but I'm working on two cream bronzers and a powder bronzer in projects. So I just want to work on it and see what we can do. And the next time we see this is in two months, I'm going to take a picture of it and I'll weigh it so we can see what we can do with it. Do you think that I could honestly, honestly finish this in six months if I'm panning another cream bronzer and powder bronzers? I don't know and I don't want to rush it because I actually like it, but I just want to be using it so that it is getting used. It's in my shop, my stash currently. So we'll see how we go. Product number four is actually a nail varnish. Um, this is the Catrice one. I have marked it here. I have maybe five or six nail varnishes left that are old. The rest are all new enough. So, which is good and bad. But anyway, this one I thought is one that I could use frequently. Like I'm having this problem with nail varnishes where I have so many, but I don't have duplicates as much. So if I finish the shade, it's gone. Whereas this one, I was like, okay, it's older and I can live without it. I could live without it, but I also shouldn't mind wearing it, do you know? Because it's like a topper shade, but I generally only use toppers on like one or two fingers at a time. And I hate putting nail varnishes in projects to finish because it's so hard. But I have six months to make some juicy progress on this. And that's six months more than this would get. Kind of nervous. This is the wand. If ever people put nail varnishes in projects, I always want to know what the wand looks like. So this is the wand, okay? Can you see that? Is that helpful to you in any way? It's like a thicker but not thick wand and it's a bit longer, it's not short. So it's okay to use and I want to see how I go with this. This is a collecting cobwebs one if I haven't mentioned it yet because I'm never using it. I'm reaching for other things over it. I don't have anything else that's a topper like this. So when this is gone, this is the only one I have. It's in the shade Glitter Atsy, and I'm sure it's extremely old. It says it expires within 36 months and I imagine, actually I don't know is it old and it could be, but we'll see. I'm gonna use it now, it's out. Then the final product is a product is collecting cobwebs. I used to pan eyeliners all of the time, all of the time. And then I stopped it because I don't have that many eyeliners. And what I found was I was using that eyeliner and I was never ever using anything else. And they were taking me over two years to finish an eyeliner. So I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't have too many, I want to rotate. But I now have several black eyeliners. They're not full size, they're travel size, but this particular one was full size. It's an Inglot Coal Eyeliner Pencil in 01. And I will mark it on a piece of paper. It's a black eyeliner. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I have it on me today and I just want to use it and see how far I can get and prioritize it. I think what's so handy about this project being updated every two months is I'm not going to force myself to be like, ah, go. I just want to use it. I want to learn from previous project panning where I will use other things, but when it's a black, this will be the black that I will reach for. I'm going to mark it a piece of paper and see what we, damage we can do in six months. What can we do in six months with this? I'm not sure, but we'll see. And I'll mark it on a piece of paper. If you're doing this project, guys, I can't wait to see how you're getting along on Instagram or on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you the next time. And I'm looking forward to having a bit of an old binge watch. I have watched a few so far. Take care. Bye.